Greetings, beloved. I'm Reverend Dr. John E. Jackson, Sr., and I'm the senior pastor of the Trinity United Church of Christ in the great city of Gary, Indiana. There's something special going on in Gary because we like to say that we are not just another church, but we are a culturally conscious, Christ-centered church that's committed to the community. We are unashamedly black and unapologetically Christian. And it's Friday, and I want to offer what I call some Friday fortification. I want to start out with some words, wise words, from that mystic theologian, pastor, um, and author, uh, the late Dr. Howard Thurman. And I've repeated this meditation from him before, but it bears repeating again. Howard Thurman says, there is something in every one of you that waits and listens for the sound of the genuine in yourself. It is the only true guide you will ever have. And if you cannot hear it, then you will all of your life spend your days at the ends of strings someone else pulls the genuine, there's nobody like you. And then I want to repeat um, what I shared with you from Max Lucado, Max Lucado. And he says, God's design defines your destiny. God's design defines your destiny. Why is that important? I shared with you that my father shared with me uh, when I asked him, how do you do what you, what you do as far as how do you meet people and listen to people and spend this, this time with people, investing in people from your heart, from your spirit, from your presence? And daddy says, because I've always known my purpose. He said, the average person lives and dies and never knows their purpose. He said, I've always known mine. And you can tell somebody who is not operating in the purpose that God designed for them. And it's nothing as sad as somebody who's working in a career, a job, and that is the single focus of their life, to put food on the table, to keep the bills paid, but they're working in a position that makes them miserable. You can tell when a person is not operating in the design that God has for them. It's not that you should not and cannot uh, operate in a career, a position that keeps food on the table, keeps the light on, keeps the bill paid. But in addition to that, are you working on the purpose that God created for you when God had you in God's mind and God formed you in your mother's womb? Because you have to fulfill your purpose in life because that's where true fulfillment comes from. And there's nothing as sad as someone who has not allowed the genuine in them to be manifested in their work, in their living, in their life. God's design defines your destiny. Remember the three, three questions that I shared from Howard Thurman uh, that all of us need to talk to God about in prayer. Ask God about who am I, why am I, and what is it that I am to do? Those are three very important questions that we all must ask God in prayer because God, as God told uh, Jeremiah, before I formed you, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. God has a design for you and God has a design for me. And so those questions that Howard Thurman says we ought to spend our sheltered in place time in prayer asking God, who am I? Why am I? And what am I to do? You know, uh, Max Lucado, Max Lucado uh, also says you cannot be anything you want but you can be everything that God wants you to be. You cannot be anything you want, but you can be everything God wants you to be. In other words, 
Yeah, you can try your hand at astrophysics, being an astrophysicist. But there's something that God has wired in you that might mean that God intended for you to be a poet. You know, you can you can um, you can try your hand at uh, being in medicine, but God might have wired you so that you are a minister. So so you can you can try things. But remember what I said, some of the most miserable people are in careers that don't line up with the design that God has for them. And they are not in a ancillary or in a uh, another way, in addition to that, fulfilling their the purpose that God has created them for. So you cannot be, I know we have told our children that you can be anything you want to be. Well, you really can't, but you can be everything God wants you to be. It's very different. What is it God had in mind when God created you? Yes, that career that puts food on the table. Yes, do that. But God created you for a purpose. So also participate in the purpose that God prepared for you. But talk to God in this time of sheltered in place in your in your sacred space, your 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 prayer room in your home. Who am I? Why am I? And what am I to do with my life? Howard Thurman also says, um, don't ask what the world needs. Figure out what it is that brings you alive. Because the world needs people who come alive. Think about the things that made you come alive when you were a child. You dreamed about and you tried to play around with. You had your hand in and you could spend hours because it brought such life and light to you. And as life went on, you began to gravitate to the things that people said would pay a good salary and put food on the table and provide benefits. And so you gave up that which brought life to you for those things that would put food on the table and keep the bills paid and keep the utilities on. Go back and begin to think about those things that made you come alive. Because as Howard Thurman says, don't ask what the world needs. Figure out what makes you come alive because the world needs people who have come alive. That's pretty good, ain't it? Yeah, I like it myself. And I'm not just talking to you, I'm talking to me. And so I want to leave you with the words of Oswald McCall. He says, be under no illusion. You will gather to yourself the images you love. And as you go, the shapes, the lights, and the shadows of the things that you have preferred, they will come to you invertibly, inevitably, as bees go to their hive. And in your mind and in your spirit, they will leave their distilled essence as sweet as honey or as bitter as gall. Yeah, cleverness may select skillful words to cast a veil about you, and circumspection may never sleep, but you will not be hid. No, that, that face of yours as year adds to year, that face of yours, like an unwritten page that once lay smooth in its baby crib will take to itself lines and still more lines as the parchment of an old historian who jealously sets down all of the story. And there, deeper than acid-etched steel, will grow the inscribed narrative of your mental habits, the emotions of your heart, your, your, your sense of conscience, your response to duty, what you think of your God, what you think of your fellow person and of yourself, because it will all be there for men and women become just like that which they love and the image will be written on your brow. God's design defines your destiny. What is it God had in mind? My 
God, when God created you and you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Talk to God about it because you got work to do that has just it has, it has been it has been designed just for you. Nobody like you. God bless you and God keep you. And remember this. I am so glad the tomb was empty. Make it a great day.